Welcome back. It's Kasha again with Strong and Stable and this video is <clears throat> focused on rocking. So we'll do a little bit of forward back, a little bit of side to side. That incorporates work for our balance, coordination and strength and good way to get us up and going. Okay, good mind-body connection. So start sitting up pretty tall in your chair if you can, not leaning into the back of the chair. We'll be doing four exercises in the chair and then if you can join me to repeat them standing up. The first one starts with our feet, so just give your toes a bit of a wriggle around there while you're getting your posture sorted. Let's take a couple of quick breaths in, arms up over your head. And let the arms come down. Can you still wiggle your toes? You're welcome to do this in shoes. It's a nice warm day here, so I've got bare feet, and that's feeling pretty good for me. Okay, nice one. All right, let's start by lifting your heels, heel raises, lower your heels, and then lift the fronts of the feet, lift the toes and the balls, and put them down. And do that again. Heels lower with control, and lift the fronts of your feet. Okay, so you feel free to have a look at your feet as you're doing that, especially if you sense maybe you ankle or heel moves off to one side a little bit try and have them moving kind of in line between the middle of your feet your knees and your shoulders rather than off the sides so you're going a nice straight line so ankle rocks and you might have guessed already as we do these standing in a while that will be a big balance challenge so rather than looking at the floor when we do those ones try and be upright and looking straight ahead you might already be doing these standing. Just stay close to a chair, please, and something that you can have for support, maybe a wall. Last one with the ankle rocks. Cool, okay. So just let your feet rest now. That's a good one for warming up the ankles and the calves, and lean a little bit side to side. So our rocks now are going side to side. Can you feel one side of your bottom more? Come up nice and tall through the middle, and then over to the other side. So starting it pretty slow and steady feels like you want a little bit more, maybe across the arms, across the body. Then try and pretty much just go side to side. Watch if you're slumping back in your chair. And let's go a couple more, a little bit slower. So lean over, just as far as you can manage. Definitely not tipping out of your chair, but where you can feel that muscular support and hold you there, go to the other side. Lean over and hold. And come back and we'll do one more on each side. You can try some different arm positions if you want. I'm just sticking with this one today. A little bit of a challenge, but not too much. Okay, come back into the middle. Here we go, and now we can do some arm work. So just have your hands together. Let's call this one cradle the baby. So sweet your elbow up to one side and then go back so once you get the hang of it you're just watching from one elbow to the other so it gets a nice little bit of head movement feel your ribs now move a little bit side to side as well and how does that feel if you bring your hands closer to your elbows so a smaller baby rocking side to side good work now if that's enough for you, just stay with that. If you want a little bit more, try a couple over to the right side. So you're going to twist a little bit, elbow back, and come back to the middle. Twist a little back, and come up. If that's giving you any pinching or discomfort in your back, just stay to the front. Okay, try the other side. Taking it back to the middle. If you can, still watching the elbow as it goes back each time. Last one on this side. Jet work and pause, arms down. Final exercise is a bit like a mambo. So let's step the right foot forward and lean forward a little bit. And then step the foot back a little bit and lean back a little bit. And do that again. A couple more on the same side. So forward, lean forward, back, lean back. So if you're doing this, maybe you can get the opposite arm going. As the leg goes forward, you can make this as groovy and dancey as your body feels it can manage. You might have some music going. <laughs> I've just
just got the sound of the birds, although I have noticed playing back some of these videos, even though I'm on a quiet street, sometimes you hear quite a lot of traffic noise. Okay, let's try the other side. Step forward, lean forward a little, just test that out, and take it back. If you feel safer with it, just keep your hands down. And if this transfer of weight is already enough for you, you'd probably do this one sitting down rather than standing up when we stand up later on. We'll just keep things a little bit smaller rather than doing a big lunge forward. Okay, so last couple on the side. Whoops, got the arms wrong. Left leg, right arm. Here we go. Didn't feel right. And back. Lean back. Good work. So rocking the body forward and back. So what have we done? We've done the ankle rocks, the side to side rocks, the baby, rocking the baby, and now this little mambo. Last one and good work. Okay, standing up and sitting down. Let's try this time and do five. Okay, see how you go. So I'm going to turn my seat side on so I don't hit that would be a really good idea wouldn't it okay hands on the chair as you need and off you go standing up five and poke your bottom back sit back down so solid on your feet so just stay looking ahead we got three more one. So if you need to do them sitting, you'll stay sitting, otherwise we're going to do these standing now. So although this is a balance exercise, you still need to be close to something like a wall or a chair to help out. So let's go with the ankle rocks. First lift your heels. Lower down and then lift your toes. And just keep that going pretty slow and steady coming up heels down and then the fronts of your feet. Good work. So you might want to do a couple just looking. See how the ankle rock forward and back. Are you still going in that same forward and backward plane? Or are the feet starting to poke outwards or inwards? And then if you can stay looking forward. You might manage to do this with less holding of the chair. So if you can do this as more of a balance exercise, you'll be having a little bit woo, <laughs> of a balance challenge, maybe a sense of a weenie wobble as you move. If you want to focus more on strength, hold on to the chair and get that full range and lift. So you're working the front and the backs of the lower parts of the leg and the feet. Awesome. All right. Hold that steady. Now we're going for the baby, right? So if you need to hold the chair or sit back down again, and you might be doing your one arm cradle, or if you can, both arms and stay close to your chair. So is it a big baby? Or is it a little baby? Okay, so who has already spotted that I forgot the side to side? We'll have to do it after this. <laughs> So we, we switched, switched the cradle, the baby, and the rock side to side. Never mind. Those of you who can manage will do a couple side on. So let's turn to the right, come back to the middle. So twist your shoulders, your ribs back, have a look back. Maybe you can swing the elbow a little bit higher. So a good twist through the middle around your trunk. Couple more. And then we'll try the other side. So come back to the middle and go to the other side. So twist it back and come in. Twist it back. Good work. Even though we're twisting the body, still feel solid on the feet and tall up through your spine too. Last one. Good work. And let the arms rest. Okay, so now sensation on the chair to begin. If you can with the side to side feet together that might be too much for some of you so feet apart. 
okay so just lean a little bit more to that left side to the outer part of that foot but still keep the other foot on the floor and then come back to the middle kind of lean teeter over to the other side too close to the chair and then come back in once you're getting okay with that you could come to less fingers on the chair some of you might manage with no fingers on the chair but know that there's something nearby you if you need You just feel your weight move side to side, just as far as you need to make that interesting. I'm going to try a couple with my feet side by side and we'll just do one more on each side after that. Come back to the middle, last one. Well done! Okay, so the final one then must be the man bow. I don't think I've left anything else out. So let's go with the right leg first. So <clears throat> if you're beside your chair, just go off to the side so you've got space to move the chair. Otherwise, taking your right foot forward, lean forward a little bit. So the weight comes more into that front foot and then transfer the weight back to the back foot. Okay. If you can manage without holding the chair, try those kind of running arms like we did when we were seated. So it's a little bit like your practice, we're doing this quite slow today, you can do it with a whole lot of different rhythms. You're practicing like if you step forward, whoop, but you can still pull yourself back. So you're learning to find your balance as it moves from one foot to the other. Even though we're leaning forward just that little bit into the front foot, still keep your chest lifted. Let's do two more on the side. And holding the chair as much as you need. Okay, and when you feel ready, just go to the other side when you're ready. Leg forward, leg back, so it doesn't have to be a really big step. Just feeling the weight move through the feet. It's a little bit like the same rhythm of a nice slow march on the spot. So going left, right, left, right. Option to try an extra little pause and hover. Know the chair is there if you need for your balance. How did that go? No appearance from Mouse the Cat this time. Where's she gone? I can see her over there hiding under the car. Sorry, you don't get a cat show this time just me. Last couple of these. Okay, finish that off. Then pause with your feet grounded. So after going one to one to one, stay with both feet quite solid for a bit. Feel yourself recenter and get your balance. And let's finish off the session today with a nice big breath in. Uh, one arm or if you can manage it both arms up over your head hands back down through your middle thank you so much for joining in today give yourselves a hug if that works for you there are lots more videos on our strong and stable list if you want to keep moving otherwise enjoy the beautiful weather today maybe go out for a little walk thank you see you soon